There is a report on CBC News posted December 4 today. You can see on the screen the US doubles numbers of five years ban on travelers from Canada. If you are a Canadian citizen with a Canadian passport uh, and you are traveling to US, if you are not able to satisfy the US CBP about why you're going there and according to them, you do not fulfill the requirements of the entry, they can not only refuse you but also issue you a five year ban, all right? Just be careful next time you're driving to U.S. or flying to U.S. Border Authority says no policy change, but lawyers see Trump's influence. This is opinion of the, the, the news report. Let's take, read a few lines here. The number of travelers from Canada hit with a long-term ban when trying to enter the U.S. has almost doubled. New data shows between October 2018 and September 2019. Uh, Minimum five year ban, 616 travelers attempting to enter the US by land from Canada. That's almost a 100% increase compared with 312 in the previous 12 month period. All right, let's take a look at some some examples, and there's some examples here. Um, let's say, let's say, take a look. Uh, uh, let me just show you all. Okay, here. The 31-year-old earned two master's degrees at the University of Idaho while on track on field scholarship. After finishing school and returning home to Canada in July, uh, Cole received a job offer as an athletic trainer at the University of Iowa. Armed with documentation for the university, he crossed the border from Alberta to Montana to request a NAFTA visa, which can be obtained at the uh, U.S. border. Even though athletic trainer wasn't on the list of accepted professions, the university had thought it would be applicable under the category of medical allied professional, which is wrong. Of course, he would have asked some NAFTA lawyer who would have told you that this is wrong. Um, however, it appears uh, Cole's pros prospective job didn't qualify because CBP declared him as an immigrant without an immigrant visa and issued a fiber ban. Wow, that's bad. I tried to apply for a job degree and then so this is one one example and now you know he will have to apply for a waiver that will cost another four thousand dollars with uh, administrative fees second example here is uh, kyle kuchirka of saskatoon also bound five burn uh he she was he or she oh he he was trying to go to us to volunteer was he was only volunteering wow and the Canadians will need a visa to enter the country for volunteer work if they can prove that the work won't be compensated. And uh, he also got a five-year ban here. Oh, here's uh, some things listed on the on the passport. Uh, Kyle was dumped on. He got a five-year ban and tried to enter the U.S. Wow. A border officer wrote order removed in his passport. My God, that's bad. Yeah. Uh, Saunders said that previously in case where some someone aired with that augmentation US border officer would typically just turn them back. Show me the violation, he said. Just because you don't have the proper document doesn't just justify an expedited rule, but that's how they're using it. Wow. Oh, just be careful. Yeah, don't be just so uh, excited in going to US without having the proper documentation, especially NAFTA visa. I always look at uh, clients from for NAFTA visa. Uh, they sometimes do not match up with the with the requirement. Uh, for the, of the category and then not only the get refused but also the ban all right take a look this article is posted on cbc news december 4th uh, you can see on the, on the screen thank you very much take care